six points. We are underway. Iowa State won the toss and takes it. DeAndre Jackson with the first return of the game, and he has a lot of daylight in front of him. DeAndre Jackson takes the opening kickoff all the way down. He lost a yard on it. First play of the game. Brett Meyer, that's his forte rolling out, but he one hops it to John Day. He is number one. Meyer stepping back in the shotgun, the junior from Atlantic, Iowa. And he takes off and gets the first down. Iowa State starting lineup on the offense. And you see Tom Schmeling. We highlight him because he is the only underclassman on the line and actually in the starting lineup as he is a sophomore. Veteran offensive football team, nine seniors on this starting lineup. Schmeling, by the way, the great, great nephew of the great Max Schmeling, the fighter. And there's the first carry for Hicks, and he is team. Number 40 is Klinkenborg, as it's second and 12 for the Cyclones. And their opening possession, Meyer again on the quarterback draw. He is deadly as he is taken down in through the lack of preparation. Klinkenborg second in the Big Ten, averaging 11 and a half tackles per game. As another first down, Austin Flynn just defense. Flynn last year, his first year as a receiver, had 56 catches, so he's been good as Hicks get at the Iowa defense. A couple of new quarterbacks on this team, Adam Shada and Charles Godfrey, both first-year starters, but, Mike, it's unusual. They're tall at 6'1 apiece. Pretty good size, and they're going to need that height today when you go against Blythe, who's 6'5", and a great leaper. Blythe, 6'5", 210. Now second and goal, and flags come up to the... Eight, where it is second and goal again. Four wide receivers in. Meyer all alone. The backfield blitz coming, and he slings it towards Flint. Third and goal now. Meyer up top, looking for his big receiver, Blythe, and he has him for the Cyclone touchdown. Blythe beating Moylan, the first-year starter, and the Cyclone strike first. Last week, Todd Blythe, zero catches. Got frustrated, kept a good attitude. Come right back, Brent Meyer, who was his roommate at Iowa State, throws him that football, and you saw the leaping ability. Extra point by Brett Culbertson. Get football team, you send a message. Last home game in which Iowa gave up a point was September of 04 to Iowa State. Sean Green having trouble handling the kickoff as a, an Iowa helmet comes flipping. And Albert Young ran for over 100 yards last year against Iowa State. Herb Grigsby, the wide receiver, getting takes for... He responds tomorrow morning. Said he originally hurt that muscle in preseason camp in August as coming around from his receiver spot is true freshman Dominique Douglas. Flags coming down at the end. Get the call. Number 15 on the defense, 15-yard penalty, automatic first down. And it's a big one, a 15-yard penalty. Now the Nivea for men starting lineups for the Iowa offense. Herb Grigsby and Dominique Douglas. You already saw Douglas do some work. These wide receivers today, aggregately for Iowa, only 41 career receptions. And they really have to depend on Chandler, Scott Chandler, the tight end. Chandler is their leading receiver, as Sean Green is now in the backfield. He is fake to Tate on the roll, has Young out in a pass pattern, and Drew Tate for Iowa. Alvin Bowen, you saw, leads the entire country in tackles. DeAndre Jackson has already shown he's a good kick returner as Albert Young takes it. State defense has given up a lot of yardage through the air this year. In fact, 108th in the entire country, giving up about 292 yards per game in the air. They stay on the ground, and Young doesn't line up for the Iowa State defense. Big play curve A there on the defensive line. And Nate Frere, both those guys go 295, and they rotate in a third guy coach, Atava Rubin, who is 320. And they got some size at that defensive tackle spot. They're going to need it today. 
Iowa, as usual, with a very stout offensive line. They do have, however, a redshirt freshman center in Raphael Eubanks, everybody else a veteran. Young trips down. Today. Eric Poseman is our producer. Champ Davis now in the backfield in lieu of Albert Young. And he was all along in the you can get in a quarterback. Andy Fenstermaker. In the punt. He's been really good at pinning opponents inside the 20. And he does it again. As Fen 11 after Andy Fenstermaker had a, a nice punt. That rolled dead. Stevie Hicks gets it, gets it last week, and we're able to come back and win it. As we're looking at a second and nine now for the Cyclones. Meyer, who's gotten much better as a passer as his career has progressed, gets it over to four games played in Iowa City. McCarney now in his 12th year at Iowa State, longest tenure of any Big 12 coach. Austin Flint, short freshman from Bettendorf, Iowa, and we've seen our share already this season of freshmen who've struggled, but that's a nice hang time kick to Andy Brodell. And Brodell breaks out of an ankle tackle. A flag comes in as he... Illegal block in the back. 86, return team. 10-yard penalty from the spot of the foul. First down. You have to watch special team bit. Between Cedar Rapids and Iowa City, obviously this is a Hawkeye country. And they're taking it over they want to as Douglas gets his first catch of the game. All Thank you, Reese. And here, after a big game for Davis, Albert Young gets it as a nice ball as he scampers down to the third win, left a sour taste in their mouths, and they want to come back and win. Tate retreating, completes it to Young, who escapes a tackle. Albert Young, so talented. Uh-uh. He's probably more, more like 5'7". Tate going towards the end zone and is knocked away the first time he is... Now for the Hawkeyes from the 21. Tate looking for Douglas who broke. Guys, and Spielman was a pretty fierce competitor. He still oh. is. Kyle Slicker in. Slicker the kicker from 38. And for him, that's virtually automatic. <laughs> Trying to pull off what would be a huge upset. As Iowa State with a 7-3 lead. Brett Meyer on the roll. And Klinkenboard hits him, but he just gets it off. Meyer some Field here. He thought it'd be crucial, though, to be mistake-free in this first quarter, Coach. Jimmy, you're right that they're moving at the line of scrimmage. After his dad, Myron, passed away suddenly from a heart attack. Pass complete. Meyer finds R.J. Sutton, averaging 3.6 yards per carry. Has three touchdowns, all of them against Toledo. Meyer on the ground. And that one is complete for a first down in front of Shada. It is caught by first year as a wide receiver. So he does have talent. First down, Meyer decides to tuck and run. And will only pick up about a yard. Webema going off the field now on second and nine. And Meyer decides to hang on to it this time. And he has stopped by the and they've been good on third down. Three for four so far, make it four for five. As Jason Scales this time of year, the second or third game of the season. So now first and ten from the 46 of Iowa. Scales with the carry. As they trail here, this is the first play of the second quarter. Second and eight for the Cyclones. Meyer up top looking for some rocks list as a terrific student at Iowa. Four point. Not bad. Third and seven. Meyer up top. Shane with the coverage, but that's pass interference. 19 on the defense. Penalty the first down to the spot of the foul. First down. Iowa State. Was Toledo going to double overtime last night to take care of Kansas? So they've had a couple of nail biters. Jason Scales with another kick. Teams. We got a second and seven right here from the 28. Meyer, a lot of time. Oh, that's a touch pass. We're looking at him right now, number seven. Drew Tate on the other side, the 11th play of the drive, and Meyer escapes and throws it away. Mitch Kier long. A lot of noise in the stadium. And Culbertson can't connect. As it were, shops and restaurants and cool things to do. Iowa State here has had the ball almost twice as long as Iowa, but they only lead 7-3. to three. This is Iowa's third possession of the game. And Tate 
gets it to Grigsby. Herb Grigsby, the junior down around the five-yard line. D.C. down by one in that game. Albert Young got to get it going at four carries for 14. Emically expects to graduate in the spring. He might be looking at a decision about whether or not to come back and play his fourth season. Tate, play action, takes off. And Drew Tate able to juke around Alvin Bowen. Bowen looking in now first and 10 from the 41. The Hawkeyes are in Cyclone territory. More play action. And there's Chandler, the big tight end, and he's able to grab it. And, then and their coach, Chandler, gotcha. was the leading receiver last year. Had one more catch than Clinton Solomon. There's Chandler's first catch. In the last few years under John L. Smith. They have the Irish next Ooh. week. Huge, needless to say. Third and four, and they get the first down. That is Chandler. Hey, unsportsmanlike. 87 on the offense. 15-yard penalty. Still first down. A lot of greetings. Up at Minnesota, Mark Harris at Rutgers, as Coach mentioned, but Chandler has more flags come down. And 15 going backwards now on the 48. Young in the backfield. Out in the pass pattern, and Tate finds him, but that is a tremendous tackle. Our athlete on top of that. Second and 17. That was flared out to Grigsby. And Harper is on Yes. Oh, my. Nice. You're the one. Third and 11 here from the 44. Tate with time. Everybody covered. Now Chandler breaks free, and he just overthrows him. My eight. So the unsportsmanlike penalty and then the false start by Scott Chandler forcing Iowa back. Andy Fenstermaker in for a second punt, and it is fair caught by Ryan Ball overthrowing Chandler. So Iowa State leading by four with the football. And Meyer, this is his talent. Oh, a great tackle from behind. Uh, it's a huge emotional boost for your team. Um, it's a great win. It's, it's very fun. That pass complete to Walter Nickel, the tight end. Boy, that was devastating. Greenway very promising, hurting that knee in the preseason for the Vikings. His running partner, Abdul Hodge, with the Packers as a flag comes down before the great job using the entire field, spacing like in basketball, said Norman Parker, the defensive coordinator. Meyer had time, but it evaporates quickly. A Webema getting in along with Mitch King, bringing up a second and 18 from the 20. Meyer zipping it and completing it to Todd Blight. Down now to Iowa State. Cyclones have converted four of their five third downs. This is a third and eight. And Meyer running for the th first down, but he slid down. Coaches who are, who are now big time head coaches. Stevie Hicks with the carry. Hicks has been silent for a while. And that win, Iowa State. Meyer keeps it himself. And he is not down on the fence. Duke, they did miss the extra point earlier, so it's 13-0. Hicks, lunging. Final possession squarely in favor of Iowa State. This is the ninth play of this drive, which has now gone over 50 yards as Jason carries for 48 yards for the quarterback. Now facing a second and five, and Hicks, this time going over the left side of the line, picks up another first down. So these two teams meet. Meyer with time, throws short, and completes it to his tight end, Walter Nickel. And he is inside the most passing yards in the history of Iowa State football, passing that of Alex Espinoza. Has Hicks to his right. First and goal from the nine. Meyer takes it all by himself and just waltzes into the end zone. Cyclone score again. Single wing play from the old days where you just snap the ball to the quarterback. He runs. Tom Smelling, the young guy in the offensive line, number 70, with a key block. Smelling played on the same high school team as Brett Meyer in Atlantic, Iowa. I mentioned that he is descended from Max Schmelling, the boxer, and that was uh, that one looked too easy. That whole drive was too easy as Culbertson adds the extra point. All right, Reese and the Hawkeyes down in this one as Sean Green gets the carry and breaks free to pick up a first down. Sean Green picked up eight, or 18, excuse me. And the 
first down. Tate, safety valve pass to Green again. And showing this team in the receiving quarter, and he obviously is not playing today. He could conceivably and probably miss the rest of the season. Tate with nowhere to go. Went Wait sack. till they go down. Drew Tate moving. I didn't see him down. His knee was not down. Young in the backfield, but he flips it out to Douglas. And the freshman able to break away. Ball on the 38 of the Cyclones. Tate under pressure and wisely throws it away. Yet Cincinnati has historically played them tough. Second and 10 after Tate threw the ball away. Going over the middle, and that pass is batted to Chandler to his seven yards, but I'm sure more importantly to him, it's a first down from the 11. And that is shoveled over to Bray Dow, and Andy Bradell into the end zone for a huge Iowa touchdown. season coming in with a, a very important touchdown before we hit the high. Cam, that was big for the Hawkeyes. His first career touchdown accentuated by the extra plays. Iowa State has all three of its timeouts remaining. DeAndre Jackson took the opening pickoff back 62 yards to set up their first and the returner gets or when the ball is kicked, not when the returner gets the ball, and then it cranks up before the ball is. And this should be the last play of the half. It will be a running play to Jason Scales. And that'll be in the first half. Kirk Ferentz is an offensive line coach. Old offensive line guy. He's going to run the football. Line drive kickoff for Andy Brodell. Iowa has the ball to start things off. Overthrowing a wide open Chandler in the second quarter. And he was sure steamed at himself. Chandler again. It has not converted a third down today. 0 for 3. Or just one, actually. And Albert Young with the catch. 20. R.J. Sumrall waits at the 23 for the Cyclones. Great hang time, but short. Sumrall does not fair catch. Yes, he does. He does. As you see, but he has really had trouble beating this Iowa State team. He's only 2 and 5 against the Cyclones in his career. Stevie Hicks per carry in that first half. Scott Stevenson, again, the senior center, the, the best player on this offensive line as Hicks Picks up the first down for the Cyclone. 10. This is Iowa State's first road game of the season. Can they put away Iowa? Meyer rolling time finds his target. That's the big guy, Todd Blythe. Has three touchdowns in his career. Meyer instead going to Blythe, who's been his favorite target. That time outside. John Davis making the catch. In but here he is back and was back for opening day against Toledo on August 31st. And remember Godfrey, the first year starter at corner, something we expected today. One and split out for Iowa State, but instead Meyer hangs on to it. On the right side of Meyer. Meyer going to hang on to it, and he is taken down. Culbertson able to punch that one through. Thank you, Reese. So some participation to see who, the, see who the player of the week is as Damian Sims now is in at running back. Tate rolling out. And that one is dropped. Look at Drew Tate has had a couple of balls dropped on him, including that last one by Davis. And that's what Damian Sims can do for a little bit. It's Iowa now trying to convert on third down. They have struggled in this category today. Blitz coming, Iowa picks it up, and Tate gets the underneath guy, that's Herb Grigsby. Grigsby, you saw Sims with a terrific block on Bowen, who is coming in on the blitz from his linebacker position. 
Sims again gets the carry. And Bowen says it has helped him. Played his first year at Garden City Community College in Kansas before he went to Iowa State. A little pump fake from Tate. Oh, no! Dominique Douglas was just waiting for the foot. For 64 yards, both of those career highs, getting a lot of playing time because Calvin Davis is out with the ruptured Achilles tendon. And another pass complete, a flag down. Looks like a He looks like he's in a comfort zone. Defense, five-yard penalty. Result of penalty. First down. Just five yards on the Replaced in the backfield by Damian Sims, who has helped tremendously on this drive. Tate rolling again. Douglas streaking down the right. In 1921. That was a long, long time ago. Way before any of our times. It's Tate. Douglas has become his favorite receiver today as he stretches for... Drew Tate looking more comfortable here in the second half. Tony Milwaukee scoring his first collegiate touchdown today. What a great fake by Drew Tate. Schlicker. Milwaukee, his first catch of the season and his first collegiate touchdown. Short kickoff taken by Austin Flynn. One of the wide receivers. Yards on that, so 70 of the 80 yards coming through the air. Meyer now goes up top to Hicks, his running back, and Stevie can And Michigan State, as Reese mentioned, next up for the Irish. Second and ten. Meyer leading his team in rushing today. Hanging on to it again. Picking the Iowa family has got to make the difference. Deciding to come back. As that pass is lifted beautifully into the arms of Todd Blythe. Boy, Meyer had some faith. He's a running threat as well. Has really turned into a complete quarterback now in his junior season. Klinkenborg takes the last play of the game. When they had a terrific goal line stand to hang on in overtime. That pass is in well today on a very difficult day. Third and nine. Meyer escapes pressure and... Has nowhere to go, friend, and that's still hard on him and his family, but he knows what Klinkenborg is going through, and you're right, he's a terrific defensive coordinator. Andy Brodell, reversing field on the punt return, gets a good block, and Brodell, who scored a touchdown via pass. Merrick had a terrific block, and this is great field position as Albert Young is back into the ball game, did not play in the last series in which Iowa score gets. And there are some big corn-fed Iowans in front of him on that offensive line. Eubanks, the center, is from Minnesota. Tate improvising, gonna pull it down and run, and steps out of that play. Ryan Baum and Tate. Oh, look at boy, Tate's fortunate that he didn't get flagged. What are we gonna do afterwards? No love lost between these two ball clubs. Third and two complete again to the freshman. He opened, opened it up on the outside. That was 15 yards and another first down as Young goes right up the gut. Opening that lead out. Here we've got a tie ball game, but Iowa is driving Damian Sims back in as the running back for the Hawkeyes. He goes out in a pattern to the left, and Tate has a lot state in front of him and he will keep the ball himself. Offensive coordinator. Young back in the backfield. That pass is complete. There's your tight end Chandler. And to understand the entire passing game when he was switched over to tight end. Last play of the third quarter, Albert Young. Dragged down at the six by John Beck. Huge third and one from the six. Albert Young lunging forward has the first down. And Drew Tate been terrific in this second half. So first and goal now from the four. Albert Young in the backfield gets the ball and then is taken down. Three tight ends for Iowa. Power package. Tate up top and Iowa leads for the 
first time as his fullback Tom Bush catches the touchdown pass. Respect of Iowa and Iowa State's defensive line. Drew Tate with the fake again. Tom Bush in the flat. Linebacker can't get out there to cover. Touchdown. Bush with his first touchdown catch of the season, first reception of the season. Schlicker, the kicker, lives up to his name. So I, the Stoops brothers and among those in the Carney or in the uh, Fry coaching trees, Hicks somehow hangs on to the. All right, Reese. In this game, Iowa State trying to come back against Iowa as Hicks gets the carry this time as helmet comes flying. Asked the play before with the big hit and held onto the football after getting hit that time. Meyer flares it out. It is complete to John Davis, their leading rusher. This time going up top. And it is incomplete as he was looking for Art. Called his name in quite a while. He split wide left. Myers going the other way over the middle of the... Here in Iowa City. Mike Brantner's punt to Andy Goodell. Had a great return last time out. And that one's pretty nifty as well as he has stopped just back out there again with the Hawkeyes. As they lead Iowa State 24 to 17. Tate looking to pass again. Albert Young coming out of the backfield, making the catch. Out of four for them to go down the field and get a field goal or a touchdown. It is second and four. Young with the carry. Doesn't get much against Iowa State, but they have done a great job of bottling him up. Tate has countered that by going on top and finding different receivers. Throwing that one, and Young broke the wrong way. What a touchdown pass in their first drive in the first quarter. Andy Fenstermaker with his fourth punt of the day. Ryan Baum doesn't want anything to do with it. It actually takes a little bit of an eye. Ten minutes and 14 seconds left to go in this game. Iowa State finding itself down by a touchdown. Stevie Hicks slices his way. No Oklahoma. Auburn with a huge game later today against LSU. His kick stretches for the first down. And Michigan's not Mike's top 25, but nope. the other one, the unofficial one. Mine is the right one. <laughs> first and 10. And Jason in this offense again. Oh, nothing doing. Scales. Gone. Can't get into this place. Quarterback draw. Five receivers in. Instead, he goes up top, and what a play! Stepping in. Iowa State has to punt. Mike Brantner in again. This is his fourth punt. Just gets it off, and it's a short punt. Andy Burdell waves his arms, and it rolls. 24 of the last 25. They lost to Michigan here last year. Tate now with an opportunity to put this game away, but he passes in yards on the ground. Tate has had great success going up top. Sims spelling Albert Young again. Picks up three yards. Even had an Illinois uh, Syracuse cut in from uh, recently. No, I think Syracuse is ahead. <laughs> we'll see. Pins and needles over that game. This is a big third and seven. It is complete to Andy Burdell. And Burdell able to break it for a first down. He had six catches all of last season. Burdell making his presence known with two from the 31. And they're going to do a reverse. Grigsby coming around. Ooh, what a blue! A huge block oh. near the line of scrimmage by Mike. They're number 73. That's a hit. Wow. And Yonder grew up. up. Iowa was one for four in third downs in the first half, but four for six in the second half. One reason why they've been able to take the lead. And that was a good play by Bowen. Sitting on there, picking off that pass. But the effort by Drew Tate after this interception, trying to go to this big tight end, 
Scott Chandler, but watch Drew Tate spring out here and make that tackle on board. Make a tackle, in fact, making a tackle after an interception. He will stick his head in there. First career interception for Bowen, and here come the cycle goal here in the second half. Five minutes and 20 seconds left. They have all three timeouts left. Meyer, and that ball is not passing game being covered right now. Now a third and ten. Meyer throws across his body and it's almost there. This could be the ball game. They are two for three on fourth down this season. Meyer, can he do it with his feet or his arm? He chooses feet, lunges for it. Well, oh, it. not even close, really, is it? No. Iowa ball of Iowa State. Tate, who did not play last week because, because of his strained abdominal muscle, has been nothing short of brilliant here in the second half until he threw the interception on the last possession. His longest of the day at nine yards. He has 12 carries for 40 yards today. They go right back to him, and he picks up the first down. Chris They go to him again as he cuts it inside and then stretches forward overtime to win that game. In fact, two overtimes. Young again, getting yards when they need it most. He's stopped about it. Iowa State down to only one timeout. Bush, the fullback, has Young behind him in the backfield. Young gets it, gets the first down. Touchdowns, all three of them different receivers, and all three of those guys scoring their first collegiate touchdowns in this huge game. Young again, this time off the right side, running behind Marsh. Likes that nickname. He didn't come up with it, but big play Curve certainly rolls off the tongue. And even though he hasn't made any big plays, as Young do, Iowa State has only one timeout left. Fumbled, but Young picks it up as Tate was unable to hang on to it. Can you believe it? Albert Young will score, but a flag. Seven, but all their timeouts have been used up. Damian Sims coming back, and he has stopped. Well, he had a 38-yarder, his career high, a 52-yarder, hit that against Ohio State last year, so this is definitely within his range from 44. And Schlicker hits the upright, and it goes through. It's a Hawkeye kind of day. Is DeAndre Jackson. He started this game out with a bang with the 62-yard kickoff return. And Tate has looked wonderful in the second half, except for an interception he threw. Looking for... We have to play like we have a chip. The billboard said this is Cyclone country, showing them winning this game last year and carrying the Cyhawk trophy. Best practice for most of this week and came in and... Uh, and this Iowa defense has been really good in the second half. And they accentuate it by bringing down Red Meyer, Brian Madison with the stop. And look at Iowa. They're going over to get that trophy. Running over to the Iowa State sideline to pick up the Cyhawk trophy and bring it on back to the black and gold side. So Iowa avenges that 23-3 loss last year in Ames. Drew Tate finishing up with 274 yards passing, hit nine different receivers, three, uh, three different receivers for their three touchdowns. Iowa State falls to 2-1. and one. Their game next week at Texas. Todd Blythe held without a catch last week, was able to get a few today, but not enough as Iowa State falls. Let's go down to the field and Jimmy Dykes. A couple of key guys right here. Mike Klinkenberg, I'm going to start with you. Three days ago, you bury your father. He's not here to watch you today. You win the rivalry game. Describe for me how you feel right now, please. Emotional roller coaster. That's all it is. I was glad to be here. I'm glad I came back. My dad's watching the ball. That's all I for sure. If you, could, if you could talk to him right now, Mike, what would you tell him? I love you. I'll see you someday. I'll see you someday. 
congratulations on your win, Mike. Coach, coach, the message that Mike sent to your team today by playing in this ball game, how important was that? Well, you know, the, uh, the family decided that's what his uh, father would have wanted. Uh, you know, I know his dad passed very proud of him from what he did last week. Yeah, I know he's looking down today. What will you tell your kids in the locker room the lesson to be learned today from Mike Klinkenborg? Well, it's a tough duty. I've been there myself. It's uh, it's a tough thing to go through. Now, Mike's an outstanding young man, and, and I've, I've said this week, you know, the most important is, uh, job in the world is being a parent, and his parents are extremely proud of him. They've got a great family. Coach, congratulations Thank on the win. As you might recall, two years ago, Kirk Ferentz lost his dad and then had to coach his team a couple of days later. They won at Penn State. It was very emotional for Kirk, very emotional for Klinkenborg, but what a great performance by Iowa and Drew Tate in the second half. As they win it, the Cyhawk Trophy coming back to Iowa City. They take a 27-17 for Mike Godfrey and Jimmy Dykes. I'm Pam Ward. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. As we say so long from Kinnick Stadium in Iowa City, we take you to the College Football Scoreboard Show presented by Acura. That's coming up next.